Okay, so we have landed on the shore um, of this uh, cave place. Uh, so again, it's low tide. So I'm walking barefoot on the sand. Uh, it's difficult, but it's manageable. some food really hungry it's literally well, it's two o'clock here um, the Sun is beating down on us it's just a really really hot day uh, I should have known not to come here in May but do I listen no no um, I hope there's some really good food around this corner there's a lot of like pizza places I know it's weird to try pizza here in in Thailand when there's so much of Tom Yum but um, the pizza looks really good. So I want to go try some pizza. Come with me. but it actually is So today I'm going to check out uh, another temple. It's called uh, Wat Tam Khao Tao. Khao Tao literally means like Turtle Hill. I'm assuming there are a lot of turtles here back in the day. I don't know why they would call it that. But um, there's a beautiful statue of a golden turtle overlooking the ocean. Um, and there are some like really beautiful Buddhist statues as well as, if I'm not wrong, I think that's Guan Yin. So let's go check it out. So, um, this temple is it's a bit interesting. Uh, I sort of don't know where to go or what to see. Oh my god, that's a iguana thing which is hopping from one place to another. Just 
I'm walking to take the boats to the cave. So apparently if I'm just going to walk there uh, without taking the boat, it's, uh, it's a much longer walk than if I do take the boat. And um, I've decided to take the boat because the walkway to the cave, uh, it's lovely but it's also filled with a lot of insects and um, I don't respond very well to insects. I'm sure some of you can relate. Okay. Ah, I did it. You whip up my appetite. Don't leave me here and dry. So uh, we are walking up to the cave now. Um, after the boat ride, it's about a 45 minute walk. Um, the path is okay. I mean, it's just sand covered, so it's not so bad. Um, and it's not walking uphill per se. It's just, just walking, I want to say downhill, but I don't think that's the right word. Just walking flat, flat, flat ground, on flat ground. A few moments later. Okay, fresh information. I hear that the flat part of the walking is only for like 200 meters and the rest of the journey is just uphill. Fun. <laughs> Alright you guys, 430 oh. meters climb. Here we go. You guys I'm reporting once again from base camp that was that was one heck of a workout I would say right now I was not I'm not dressed for it I was not prepared for it uh, but I can also say happily that I did it will I do it again maybe in about 10 years and uh, maybe not in a t-shirt but in like dry fit clothes One of the biggest draws about Thailand is their night markets. Um, they have plenty of night markets and right now I'm in Hua Hin and Hua Hin night market is the place to check out according to the website. So um, here I am. I honestly don't know what I was expecting, okay? This is prata with like Nutella. It's not bad, it's really good. Some of the fellow put condensed milk on top, which is amazing. But I mean, it's prata. I, okay, I suppose the dough is a little bit more dense, but it's, it's, it's prata. Doesn't mean I'm not gonna eat that now.
Sahin Night Market tonight. So I've got a bunch of things. Um, I actually really wanted to just like walk and eat and talk and walk and eat and talk and it's not really possible because it's a Saturday night and this place is packed to the brim. So I'm gonna buy some stuff, go back to the room, eat and then take a shower and, and hit the sack. Actually, two night markets. I hear that they're side, 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 side by side, 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 side by side. So one's called the Chika, Chikada, Cicada night market, and the other one's called the Tamarind night market. Yeah, I can see Tamarind a lot more easier. Guys, I'm here in um, Chikada, Cicada market. It is huge. It's a lot bigger than the Wahin market I went to yesterday. There are just stalls upon stalls upon stalls selling like delicious food. I do not know where to start. Um, you need to buy coupons apparently. Uh, they don't accept cash here, they just accept the coupons. So there's a ticketing booth up front where you have to like walk by the coupons. But I'm telling you, there's like so many things here. There's, there's like lots of food, there are um, trinkets, there are clothes and this whole place is decked out like a really fancy hipster market. like ice cold roselle tea because even though i'm so fascinated by this lovely market it's hot all right you guys so that sort of brings me to the end of this evening i thought i'd check out the tamarind market but it looks like it's closed for tonight um, anyway, the food was all right once I ate it, but the bus, the vibes here, it's just amazing, guys. There's so many things here to check out. If you're ever in Hua Hin, I would recommend coming here and checking out the Chikada Market. I don't know if I'll ever learn how to say that correctly, but you should check out this place. Coming to Thailand, right, your experience is not complete until you sit in one of these and with these like really unflattering blue lights on your face. But it's an experience that's worthwhile. Let's check it out. Isn't that awesome? Okay, I know I look horrible, so yeah, let's just move past that. 